My name is Miss Alex White from the band White Mystery. I love orange amps. I used to play a Music Man live. It's a cool vintage 210 combo. Then one day it pooped out on stage and the other band that we were playing with didn't have a guitar player, so I had no backup. And that was the day that I realized that I needed a brand new amp that was gonna be reliable for the hundreds of shows I was about to play. And White Mystery, the band that I play in, was recording at Electrical Audio, and we were walking through Studio A, and it was full of orange amps. Like black face bass amps, like amazing, groovy stacks, combos, different heads. I was like, wow, these are really, really amazing. They really speak to me. And I looked at the logo closer and realized that there was a red-headed man and woman on it, which is exactly what White Mystery is. It's my ginger brother and I. So after that point, I decided that I would pursue Orange Amps and find a cool solution. And that's when I got my Rocker Verb 50, which is a 212 awesome hulky tube amp that I love very much. I've had the speakers swapped out. I've played almost a thousand shows on it. Um, added wheels to the bottom. Just have a little canvas case and it's been road hard and put away wet for sure. It has a dirty channel and a clean channel. I primarily play through the dirty channel and uh, it's just a great beast. It's very, very reliable. It's a little heavy but it's definitely manageable for one person to load in and load up themselves. So Rocker Verb 50 is the orange amp that I play. It's awesome being an orange ambassador because it's a really groovy company with a really cool history. Starting in 1968 in the UK. 1968 was the year that Black Sabbath started Led Zeppelin started in 68, and the MC5. So Orange Amps kind of was born out of this amazing year uh, where a lot of my main influences come from. And something about this groovy color that just looks great on stage, it's something that I can really stand behind. Uh, just the whole aesthetic and style of the brand just really works for what I do with White Mystery. The description of my guitar and pedal setup is brief because I just play a Rickenbacker 330 Fire Glow axe that I got in the year 2000, brand new from the Chicago Music Exchange. I play through my signature fuzz pedal, which is called a Fire Keeper. It is a beast based on like a big muff ram's head, like 70s muff. So it's like squealing, kind of unhinged, huge sound. I've tried tube screamers and rat pedals and all of the boutique stuff, but definitely the big muff is the perfect sound for the Rick and the Orange. This is the Fire Keeper that you can get at a guitar boutique. We reduced it from the three knobs on some big muffs to just two. So it's already on maximum gain, so you don't really have control of the gain. It's already ready to go for you. Not much uh, schoolwork on how to make it rage, um, but you've got a volume knob and a tone knob. And since I don't futz around with that kind of thing, I modded mine to just be maxed out volume and maxed out tone. So Rick, Firekeeper, and I play through Lava Cables, which I absolutely love. So it's like, if you're gonna have a really great guitar and a really amazing amp, you have to connect it in a quality way. Otherwise you have this kind of chintzy sort of cord that's pooping out on stage. I guess I've learned that it's good to have very few things that are all really high quality.